Good morning, Year 3. I hope you've had a lovely week and welcome to this week's math video. And this week, as you can see, we are going to learn about telling the time. OK, so we're going to get started with recapping our knowledge. On the screen, you can see four clocks and on the key vocabulary, four key phrases for telling the time, which I know you all know. So we have o'clock, half past, quarter past and quarter two. Now, what I want you to do is to pause me right now and match up the key phrases with the clocks on screen. So I'm going to let you pause me and take as long as you need to do that. OK, so we should have matched them up. So let's go through the answers. So, oh, where is my pen I've gone? Why is my pen being silly? Oh, wait, there we go. OK, so let's start with o'clock. So o'clock matches to our pink clock. And maybe you can tell me what the time is as well. It is, well done, five o'clock. So the hour hand is pointing to five and the minute hand is pointing to the 12, which shows it is o'clock. OK, so let's go on to our second one, half past. And you should have correctly matched this up to the, hmm, what colour should we call this clock? I'd say it's like a chrome, which is like a grey silver. This clock, and can you tell me what the time is? It is half past two well done it is half past two so i'm just going to write 2 30. and i know that because the hour hand is in between two and three so it's gone past two and heading towards three and the minutes hand is pointing to the six which shows it's half past now our next one quarter past you need to look for our minutes hand and it is the Ooh, like, what do we call this clock? The, like metallic blue, it's like a light metallic blue, isn't it? So quarter past is here, and it is quarter past 12. Well done, quarter past 12. So I'm going to write 12.15 for quarter past 12. And of course, we've got minutes hand pointing to the three to show it's quarter past, and the hour hand is just, just past the 12, heading towards the one. So it's quarter past 12. And that means, of course, our last one, quarter two, has to go to the metallic green clock, I'd say. It's green, isn't it? And this time is quarter to five. Well done. So I actually have to write 4.45. So it's 45 minutes past four, but we'd usually say, of course, a quarter to five. So you can see the hour hand is just before the five. It's not quite at the five, it's just before. And the minutes hand is on the nine, which means it is quarter two. Okay, so on the previous slide, I spoke a lot about the minutes hand and the hour hand. So I've got a big clock for you here, and I want you to pause me again and just match up for me which hand is the minutes hand and which hand is the hour's hand. Okay, fantastic. Really well remembered. The minutes hand is the long hand. So the minutes hand is this really long one here pointing to the 12. And our hour hand is the shorter one that is pointing to the three. So we need to remember minutes is longer than the hour hand because the word minutes is longer than the word hour. Okay, it's a good way of remembering it. Like minute as a word is longer than hour as a word. Although of course we know when it comes to the time that an hour is longer than a minute. Which leads me on to my second question for you. Using this clock, can you tell me how many minutes are in an hour? So pause me again and have a think of what the answer is to that question. Okay, fantastic. The answer is 60 minutes. There are 60 minutes in an hour. You might just have known that, or maybe, I don't know if anyone did this, you counted all of these little lines. If I went around and counted them, one, two, three, four, five, let's keep going. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
56, 57, 58, 59 and 60. Whew, I don't know if anyone else did that, but that took me a long time. But I counted 60 little lines. And those lines on the clock are showing us how many minutes there are in an hour. So if we ever forget that, you can always just go to a clock and spend probably a minute or two like me counting all those lines. So those little lines I was just counting, we know they also make up our minute scale. So when we're looking at the clock, we've got our hours, we've got our 12, we've got our 1, we've got our 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Those are all our hours. But then around the outside, we, use, we also use this to help us tell how many minutes passed to the hour there is. So when the minutes hand is pointing at the 12, we're at no minutes, it's o'clock. When it's at the one, it's five minutes. When it's at the two, it's 10 minutes. When it's at the three, it's 15. When it's at the four, it's 20. At the five, 25. And this goes all the way around till we go to 11, 55 minutes, and then back to 12, which means o'clock. So when I read that time, my hour hand is pointing to a three, so I know it's three. My minutes hand is pointing to a 12, which means o'clock, so my time is three o'clock. Now please remember, telling the time is very tricky for some of us. I know I found it really tricky, particularly reading analog clocks like this with an hour hand, the minute hand, remembering which one's the hour hand, which one's the minute hand, is it long, is it short? So pause this video whatever you need to and go back, slow me down, go faster if I'm going too slow for you, everyone's different, so make sure you're going at your own pace. Now if you're really not feeling confident with the time, maybe wouldn't worry so much about this, this is for those of us that are feeling more confident. So as we said in the previous slide, when we're using our minute hand, we can say five past, 10 past, 15 minutes past, 20 minutes past, 25 minutes past, 30 minutes past, 35 minutes past. But when we're telling the time, we don't say zero minutes past, we say, when it's pointing at the 12, the minute hand, we say o'clock. We do say five past, when it's pointing at the one. We do say 10 past, when it's pointing at the two. We don't tend to say 15 minutes past when it's pointing to three. We're more likely to say quarter past. Then we do say 20 past at the four. We say 25 past at the five. Again, at the six, we're not likely to say 30 minutes past. We're more likely to say half past. So this side, I think we're all very confident with when we're talking about minutes past the hour. Now, as soon as we go past the six one minute's hand, this is when it gets a bit trickier. We could say, when it points to seven, like we looked at before, we could say 35 minutes past three. But you don't really hear people say 35 minutes past three. You're more likely to hear people say 25 minutes to four. When it points to the eight, you're more likely to hear 20 minutes to. Of course, at the nine, we say quarter to. At the 10, we say 10 to. At the five, at the 11, we say five two and then back to 12 we say o'clock and that is where telling the time gets a bit trickier so please if you're finding time really confusing do not worry about the past and two just go around your clock and just go around in your fives and say 20 past 40 past 50 past quarter past 20 past just all of those don't worry about the two but for those of you that are more confident Make sure you're looking at this and remembering to go to that next step. And when you pass the six of your minutes hand, we say two. OK, I've done enough talking. It's now over to you. So pause the video here. Have a quick practice. What are the times on these three clocks? OK, let's go through our answers. OK, so clock A, we've got. It is 3.35. So you might have said this as 35 minutes past 3, or you might have said it as 25 minutes to 4. Either way, fantastic. Both correct answers. 
So let's go on to clock B. OK, there's only one way to say this one. It is five minutes past 10, 10.05. So well done if you got that one correct. Let's go on to C. OK, so you might have said this a few ways. You might have said 1.15 or you might have said quarter past one. Well done. They're both correct answers. OK, year three, that's all from me this week. Now, I quickly whizzed through quite a lot in 10 minutes there and much rather, you know, probably spend a week or two of lessons doing what I've just done in 10 minutes. So now it's over to you and you're going to need to practice, 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 because that's how we get really confident of telling the time. So to help you out, we set some time questions on Seesaw, lots of different activities for you this week. Please respond to them. Have your best go. Remember, it does not matter if you get it wrong. We are practicing. So we will not get it right the first time necessarily. But the more we practice, the better we will get. If anyone wants some extra challenges, I'd really recommend this first one. Asking someone at home to test you on telling the time using an analog clock. So remember, an analog clock is like this one. You need a minute hand and an hour hand, not a digital clock. The more you just practice that on the time, the better it will get. So if you just ask anyone at home, like sibling, parent, auntie, uncle, grandparent, ask them to, to ask you randomly what the time is, like we do at school, and then you practice, that will really help you. And lastly, a little final extra challenge if anyone wants something more to do, create a poster for me and Charlotte about everything you know about telling the time, take a photo of it, upload it onto Seesaw, and maybe you'll even teach us something that we don't know, new. So I look forward to seeing them. Okay, best of luck, telling the time. It is tricky, but I know you can do this. So have a lovely week, and we'll be back next week with some more maths for you. Bye, year three.